Hi, it's me, Dallas. Welcome or welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my makeup routine and I feel like my makeup routine has changed over the years but I think I finally perfected it so today I'm going to be showing you guys what I do for my everyday makeup. If you're not looking for a foundation makeup routine, this video is for you. But yeah, let's get started with the makeup routine. So when I do my makeup, I like to start off with my eyebrows and for my eyebrows, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I don't like to fill in my brows too much because I already have like a pretty good shape. Also, they're very full and thick but i do like to make them appear a little bit darker just for my brows i first brush through both of them for my brows i outline the bottom from the inner part of my brow to the tail and for the top of my brow i start right here in the middle and then line the arch and my tail and before i fill my brows in i like to fluff through the product and when I fill my brows in, I don't fill it up too much because I don't like to have a harsh brow. Do a few strokes. And once I'm done with my brows, I like to shape them. And I shape them with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And then I use the Isaac Mitzrahi New York Brush. I got this brush from a little kit from TJ Maxx and I'm not sure if they sell it anymore. Just grab the product from like Till. And when I clean up my brows, I only clean up on the bottom of my brows and not the top because whenever I do it on the top, I feel like it's like very light from the rest of my face. And then that's how I do my brows. And then after my brows, I do my face complexion. And I actually don't use any foundation. So I first go in with the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer. But I take this brush. I don't know where it's from. I think it's from Amazon. When I apply it, I like to apply it on my cheekbones so it gives me a more lifted look. One thing that I feel like makes my makeup look super good is patting instead of rubbing it on. When I do bronzer, I also apply it to my forehead. I go up, like into my hairline so it kind of blends better. And then afterwards, I go in with a cream blush. I don't like to use blush, but when I do, I like to use the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer. The same with my bronzer, but I like to apply it on my high points so that it gives me a more lifted look. I don't really like wearing a pink blush because I feel like it doesn't look good on my skin tone personally, which is why I really like this shade, Summertime Wine, reddish mauve, I would say. And last for my complexion for cream products is... Again, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade 10. And I apply this concealer only underneath my eye in sort of like this triangle. And because there's a lot of product that comes in this, I don't put that much. And then I blend it out going up. And with this Maybelline concealer, I have like very mixed opinions about it. I originally did not like it a lot, but now as i use it more i feel like it's growing on me but the one thing i notice is that when i use a lot of product it gets very cakey but the nice thing about that is that it does have some nice coverage so i don't need to use a lot in general to get good coverage with this concealer that's it for cream products and also i forgot to prime my face before i started this but i like to use the elf matte putty primer to set my face, I use the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder. I've been using this powder for a while, but the one thing I notice about it is that it always makes my face super light when I use it. But I also notice that it doesn't keep the true color of my cream bronzer and blush. As you can see, it kind of makes it look very, I would say, muted. But this powder does have a nice finish, and I like how it doesn't make my face super shiny. I just put that all over my face, and I use this big fluffy brush. It makes my face super matte, which is like the kind of makeup I like to go for. I don't think that glowy makeup looks that good on me just because my face is already super oily as the day goes on. Since that powder does make my cream bronzer and my cream blush look a little muted, like you can't really see the true color that it was before I set it. I also like to use a powdered bronzer and a powdered blush. The two powder bronzers I like to use is either the Girls Getaway Trio from The Balm. Or I use the Fenty Beauty Bronzer in Caramel Cutie. I typically pick up the Balm Desert Bronzer more often. For powder bronzer, instead of patting it on my face, I like to swipe it because I feel like I get more product out of it like that. But I don't do it that much. I just do it just a little bit. And then like earlier, I also apply it to my forehead, but I like to pat it on my forehead more. 
If I do notice my bronzer looking a little harsh, I do go in with the brush that I use for my setting powder. And I literally just like blend it out. I don't know if this is like the correct way to wear bronzer, but this is how I do it to make it not look super dark and harsh. That's what it looks like. I really like this bronzer. Probably one of my favorites. Under eyes, I like to use the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I actually do this before my bronzer, but I forgot to apply it. So I'm just going to do it right now. What I like to do is I like to tap it into the product. I just press it underneath my eyes and I bring it up my cheeks like this. My phone keeps stopping my recording. I feel like this powder makes my under eyes look super bright. Like I was saying, the Laura Mercier translucent powder makes my under eyes super bright and smooth, which is why I like to use this specifically for underneath my eyes. Then after I do that, I just wipe the excess under from underneath my eyes off. With what? And that just makes my makeup look extra smooth and extra bright underneath my eyes. Okay, so I had to upload my footage to my laptop, which is why like I did some stuff off camera. But the only thing I did off camera was my lips. I'll show you guys the products that I used for this lip look. For the lip liner, I used the NYX Lip Pencil in Espresso. And I dabbed on the MAC Satin Lipstick in shade Mocha. For the gloss, I just dabbed on the NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline. I wouldn't say that this is my everyday lip look because the one thing in my makeup routine that tends to change is my lip products. I do tend to gravitate towards the Espresso sh uh, lip liner shade and Madeline. So I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup routine. I've been thinking about doing some more makeup content, so we'll see if that happens in the future. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. I post every Tuesdays and Fridays, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!